Hello. Hi, my name is Maurice Bernard, and uh, uh, if, this is State of Mind. If, uh, if you like what you see, just hit the little button right here. You see a little button? Yeah, subscribe. Um, so, I want to talk about crime. It's a very important subject, I think. Especially with mental illness. And I'll tell you why. Um, I grew up 100% Hispanic. Which means culture-wise, it's not macho to cry. I remember my father watching my mother crying. And my father would say, Marta! Which means, Martha, stop crying. And one of the reasons why I started, I wanted to talk about crying was I was watching this program on TV and the mother was crying over being joyful. And the daughter looks at her and said, Mom, stop crying. And I thought, why do you tell her to stop crying? She needs to let it out. She needs to release. So I said, I'm going to do a state of mind on this. And here I am. I remember as a kid, um, my father would... And he didn't, he didn't tell my mom to stop crying because he, didn't, he just couldn't deal with his own, his own self of how that made him feel. He loved my mom. He loved her a, a great deal. But he would tease her and tease her. And what happens? Of course, now, when Paul is crying or somebody... Well, not now, because I think I've worked on myself enough. But I tease. I grew up feeling tears are bad. And when you do that, what happens is you hold it in, you hold it in, and you hold it in. And eventually you're going to blow. And that's what happened to me when I had my first nervous breakdown. I remember being in the, in the hospital, tied down from my wrist, waist, my legs and all I would do is cry and I even then at 22 years old I believed that I was like a volcano because I was never allowed to really cry so when I had my breakdown in the hospital I was able to just release it man and I cried I remember thinking damn all I'm doing is crying but it was, I needed that. And I believed, it may not be true, but I believed for 22 years of not crying in the hospital, I let it all out. And that's what happens when you go through these anxiety or depression or manic episodes. You just cry all the time, you know. Now, I was taught to be macho. And macho is, is nothing, you know, macho can be cool. But let me tell you something. Vulnerability, sensitivity, that's the key. And I will say this, that's the key to a woman's heart. I remember a friend of mine once said, we were talking about things and about Paula and, and he said, man, you got the key to her heart. All you got to do is open it. That one just came to me. And I do believe, just like watching that show, that telling anybody not to cry is an injustice. Especially with children. 
Because children only do what they see, what they're taught. You can see the mistakes you've made in your child by just watching them. They will do exactly what you taught them. And that could be hard. But I, I, I will say this. One thing that I've, that I've learned is with my children, I've allowed them to see me cry because I wasn't going to be like my dad in that area. And if they cry, I don't tease them. So, I want to say to all the men, even women, because women sometimes have that problem. It's usually men. Continue to not tell your children not to cry. Think of it like this. Instead of saying to them, don't cry, look at them with kindness and love. And just say, it's going to be okay. Let's break the chain. It's so important to break the chain. I'm still learning. I'm still trying. and But let's break the chain. All right.